Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for laughing and saying, I told you so after the paternity test results. I, 27F, have been married to my husband, 28M, for two years, and we just had our baby girl about five weeks ago. Our little one came out with blonde hair and pale blue eyes, which is a big surprise since both my husband and I have brown hair and eyes. My husband totally freaked out over this and demanded a paternity test. He even threatened divorce if I didn't agree. So, I went ahead with it. After we got home from the hospital, my husband decided to crash at his parents' place for the first three weeks. He needed space, and he filled his parents in on what was going down. My Emile called me up, saying if the test proved the baby wasn't his, she'd make sure I'd get the worst divorce settlement possible. Thankfully I had my sister to help with the baby during all this. We got the test results yesterday. My husband came back to our place to go over them together. I was on the couch, he sat next to me, and we started reading. The results confirmed he was the father. His face went from shocked to totally mortified as he stared at the paper. I couldn't help but say, I told you so, and laughed a little at his reaction. He snapped out of it and got really mad at me for laughing. We had a heated argument, mostly him yelling, until my sister came downstairs and things quieted down. After that, my husband headed back to his parents' house to clear his head. A few hours later, my M.I.L. called to chew me out for laughing at my husband, saying it was like kicking him while he was down. She also sent some pretty nasty texts this morning along the same lines. I don't think I'm in the wrong here, but I'd like some outside perspective. After making my post, I decided to search for divorce lawyers in my area with my sister. It took a while, but I managed to find and meet with one who was willing to do virtual consultations. During this, my ex was not contacting me at all, but I did reach out to see if he was okay. Eventually, once he actually got served, my ex came back to our house and tried pleading with me not to go through with the divorce. He said he loved me more than anyone, and that we could go to couples therapy. During this, my ex slipped up and admitted to cheating on me when he first left me. He said that he got caught up with his co-worker when trying to explain his weeks-long absence. At first, I didn't realize who he was talking about because he referred to her by a nickname, Fink, Vive over Vivian, but my brain kicked back into gear and asked if that getting caught up with her was code for that he fucked her. My ex stumbled over his words and tried to dodge the question, but he seemed to realize that I wasn't going to let up on this pretty quickly. He admitted to going to her for emotional support before our baby was born, since he was nervous about being a dad, and eventually fucking her during the time he left, so you guys were right about him cheating. I had heard enough at that point and told my ex point blank we were going to divorce, no ifs, ands, or buts about it, and that I wanted 50 to 50 custody. We'd only speaking about the divorce, custody arrangements, and our daughter herself after this. My ex just nodded to what I was saying, and asked if he could see our daughter. I was a bit hesitant, but said yes, and called my sister to have her bring our daughter down to the living room. My ex held our daughter and talked to the baby for a bit before leaving. My sister asked me if I was alright after he was gone, and I told her I was okay. My Emile did try to harass me over the phone about me divorcing my ex, but by then, I had already blocked her so she went to my sister instead. I guess my Emile was never told that I owned the house my ex and I previously shared since she texted my sister, saying that I was going to be on the streets. Well, my Emile most certainly knows that now, since my ex is now living with her and moved out. My ex has seen our daughter a few times, those visits were awkward to say the least, but I managed. Hopefully I won't have to give you guys any more updates about this. AITA for publicly shaming my parents for not acknowledging my birthday? I just turned 33 last week. It was supposed to be a chill day, but honestly, I wasn't expecting much. My family had been away for a few weeks. They flew to my mom's home country for my maternal grandfather's funeral. He passed away about a month ago, and I wasn't super close to him, so I stayed behind since I had just started a new job. They were gone for 22 days, and we stayed in touch the whole time via FaceTime. I was happy they got to reconnect with family, and my brothers met everyone. They came back last Wednesday, and they've been jet-lagged and readjusting since then, which is totally understandable. My birthday fell on Friday, just two days after they got back. I was expecting maybe a quick message or call, but the day came and went without a peep from anyone. Sure, I was a bit annoyed, but I wasn't too upset. I don't make a huge fuss over my birthday anyway. I ended up having a nice dinner with my boyfriend and a few friends so it was all good. Then on Saturday afternoon, my dad calls me, and he's fuming. Apparently my boyfriend had made a special Instagram post for my birthday, and my brothers saw it. They showed my parents, and that's when all hell broke loose. My dad was shouting at me, saying that posting about my birthday online was passive-aggressive and mean because they'd forgotten. I was honestly shocked. 
I told him I wasn't upset and didn't think a 33rd birthday was that big of a deal. He kept going, then just hung up on me, I didn't hear from them the rest of the weekend. Then this morning, I woke up to a ton of notifications. My mom had posted on Facebook, blasting me for being ungrateful, and claiming I ruined a surprise party they had planned. She tagged me in the post, and it seems like all my extended family is siding with her, calling me a jerk. I tried calling my mom to talk things over but she's not answering. So, I posted a reply on her Facebook thread saying, You guys forgot, and no one wished me a happy birthday unless you count dad's call to yell at me. Now both my parents are calling non-stop, but I'm not ready to talk to them yet. After everything happened yesterday I told my boyfriend about the FB thing, and he agreed that I should just not deal with it for the day. I turned my phone off and just chilled out. Around 6 p.m. my boyfriend got a text from my brothers asking if they could come by because they wanted to see me and bring me the candy they brought back for me I agree, and they came over along with my parents. At this point I was annoyed to see my parents, but we let everyone in. My boyfriend made sure I was alright and took my brothers out back so I could be alone with my parents. My mom started crying immediately and sobbed out and, I'm sorry. I don't know about you but seeing my mom cry started to make me cry. My dad then explained what happened. Apparently, they absolutely forgot about my birthday, again, understandable. My paternal aunt had come over on Saturday to see my parents. It's worth noting that she does not like my mom for whatever reason. Since he's been around for last four years, my boyfriend follows my brothers and a few of my cousins and vice versa. My cousins saw the post showed my aunt and she asked my mom how my birthday went. A side note, my extended family did reach out to wish me happy birthday, they just didn't know my family forgot. I guess my mom was caught out and my aunt went in on her being a bad mother and all that and saying at least I have my boyfriend. My dad got upset, told my aunt to leave and said they already had something planned, they didn't. That's when he called me. I never saw the post, I was wrong thinking my brothers showed them. My dad said he felt awful for yelling at me and apologized, but explained that he hated seeing his wife so upset. It took the weekend to cool down, but as many of you guessed, my mom tried to save face via FB. She explained that she didn't think I would see it since I'm not usually on. What she didn't realize is that when she typed my name in the post, my username populated thus tagging me. She was shocked and embarrassed when I responded and started getting calls and texts from the extended family. She came clean to my dad about it, and that's when they tried calling, but I wouldn't answer. My mom looked very distraught, and I just told her that everything was okay and that I'm sorry that I responded the way I did. It's evident that she's taking her father's passing extremely hard and I don't want to pile more onto her. Now's not the time. My dad said it was a few days late, but he'd love to order pizza and just hang out. I agreed. My boyfriend and brothers came inside and we spent a few hours listening to stories about my grandfather and my mom's childhood. It's definitely a birthday I won't forget, but I guess all's well that ends well. I would like to point out that we do not like my dad's sister. She's an awful person, but my cousins are amazing so my dad tolerates her. My mom can usually handle herself around my aunt, but she's in a really vulnerable state which is how this escalated. I'll probably talk to her about it again, just not anytime soon. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.